Welcome to our fourth video in our SOLIDWORKS What's New for 2025 series. My name is Ed Hawkins and over the next few minutes I'll take you through some of the improvements in drawings and MBD. In SOLIDWORKS 2025 we now have the ability to reload drawings. With this option users can revert to the last saved version on disk with a single click. There's no longer any need to close the drawing without saving and then reopen it and a dialog box appears to highlight any potential loss of changes. The next enhancement relates to bills of materials. In a previous release, a new option was added to include the option for detailed cut lists as part of the bill of materials, which is particularly useful for assemblies that include welded components. Bills of materials have now been enhanced enough that they can be used in place of a standard cut list. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2025, users can take advantage of a simple checkbox to override the value for quantity and instead calculate the quantity based on whatever attribute was assigned in the cut list properties, in this case length. Of course keeping your drawings up to date with the latest standards is of the utmost importance. The surface finish symbol options have been updated in accordance with the ISO 21920 standard and using save styles speeds up the process of adding repeated annotations. The last enhancement for drawings is related to exporting DXF and DWG files. This new option to export drawing views as blocks helps make it easier to edit drawings in 2D CAD programs like DraftSight. Often when opening drawings in 2D CAD programs, the first thing users would have to do is select all the individual entities for each view to generate blocks, in order to leverage them more easily. This new option eliminates that step for users, making it much easier and smoother to go from your SOLIDWORKS drawings to DXF and DWG. Switching over to take a look at MBD, in SOLIDWORKS 2025 MBD is now an add-in like many of the other popular additional tools. The simple checkbox makes it easier to activate and deactivate licenses so they can be shared between users. Annotating drafted features used to take many steps to end up with the multiple required dimensions. Using a wedge size dimension now produces both the angular dimension and the width dimension for the selected wedge faces. It's now possible to create MBD dimensions by reusing dimensions from sketches and features. Simply select the feature and then choose the individual dimensions to add them as annotations in the model. The final enhancement for MBD has to do with the export functionality for STEP242 files. Now there are two additional settings, one for splitting periodic faces like cones and cylinders into multiple faces and one for exporting face and edge properties. Both of these settings aim to provide better fidelity. So we've seen the reload option becoming available for drawings, a new surface finish symbol compliant with the updated ISO 21920 standard, we can now export views as blocks and we have a great new option for detailed cut list in bombs allowing us to utilize quantity for weldments. MBD is now listed as an add-in, giving greater flexibility. DIM Expert dimensions can be created from sketch and feature dimensions. We can add size and angle dimensions for drafted features and there are further settings for STEP 242 files. Thanks for watching and look out for our next video on what's new for collaboration in SOLIDWORKS 2025.